Hey guys, it's me. Um, so, the brand new thing I want to talk about today is, drum roll please, uh, the Iron Mind 60 Day Challenge. I don't know if anyone else has heard of it, but I um, just recently heard about this. Um, it is obviously a, uh, I'm sorry, a challenge for 60 days, and um, what you do is you pick like five or six things that you are promising to yourself that you're going to do for 60 days straight. Um, and if you skip a day, there's no doubling up on the next day. You have to start over. So, uh, the whole point of the challenge is to just promote health, to promote um, mindfulness, to promote, you know, just a brand new type of you. <laughs> And so I'm super excited. I did start it a while ago, um, but I didn't do so hot. <laughs> so this is my brand new 60 day challenge. I picked, you know, five things that were actually doable for me instead of being like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go travel the world every single day. That's not doable by the way. So uh, I decided on five things again, that were doable for me in my everyday life that could fit in somewhere in my day. Um, and they're, uh, I'm hoping that they're gonna become uh, habitual after the 60 day challenge is over with. Um, I'm really excited. So let's dive right into it. Um, so my first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be exercising ah, for at least 30 minutes a day. Nobody likes to exercise and if you do, kudos to you I admire you so much but me I'm just like <laughs> running <laughs> no thank you um, so so what I'm gonna be doing is exercising for at least 30 minutes a day and whether it's taking walks or you know having a dance party in the living room with my kids, you know, something so that I am up and moving and not just sitting on my couch like a potato <laughs> watching TV for hours and hours. Um, so the second thing that I'm going to be doing is I am going to be drinking two bottles of water a day. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I've literally had like an aversion to water um, a few months ago. Honestly, before the summer started, actually, I couldn't really tell you the last time I had clear water. I was like, wait, c coffee? That's made with water. Like, I'm definitely hydrated. <laughs> but I absolutely was not. And it was showing, like, I had no energy to do anything. You know, I was, I just felt so tired all the time. And I was like, oh, you know, like everyone else in the world. Let's just consume more sugar and caffeine because I'm dying over here. And, you know, then I just died faster after that. <laughs> so I'm going to be drinking two bottles of water a day. They say that you should be drinking, um, what is it, half your body weight in ounces a day. So I, I did that calculation, which I'm not going to share at the moment because... <laughs> You don't need to go into that, <laughs> but it's roughly about three and three quarters worth of um, bottles of water a day. And I think that starting from scratch, that's a little excessive for me. So I'm just making it something that I could actually possibly stick to and just leveling it down to two. Uh, the third thing, I do try and do this every day, but I want to make sure that it is absolutely 100% happening. Um, just praying and reading the Bible every day, you know, whether I'm, you know, spending a few minutes reading a chapter or two or, you know, just searching for some really good verses that I can carry with me throughout my day. Just spending some much needed time with God so that I can be um, healthier spiritually and so that I can, you know, learn a, bit, a little bit more about myself um, so I have the weapons that I need to have in order to be equipped to handle my day um, and also you know to set an example for my kids as well so that's just a personal thing that I'm gonna be doing and I hope after like I said after the 60 days I'm really hoping all of this stuff is just gonna become habitual and I don't even need to think about it so um, 
my fifth one, I'm sorry, my fourth one, I can't count today. Uh, number four, I'm going to be working towards a new goal every day. Uh, I have been talking a lot about my bucket list and to be honest, after reading through it several times, most of the stuff that's on it um, could be done in, you know, Wisconsin, where I live. So, because, you know, I, <laughs> I obviously don't think outside the box. <laughs> But um, I really just want to be working towards my new goals every day, um, whether it's planning or preparing or making lists of things that I need to do. Um, you know, like I said uh, in a previous video, this YouTube channel of mine was um, a thought on my mind for the last two years. And I don't really know why I did it. Probably just my own, you know, insecurity is getting in my way. But I just want to promote a healthier new me, you know, someone who actually goes for the things that I want to do. So that's what I'm going to be doing, you know, whether it's journaling or something so that I can move towards, you know, having a fulfilled life and a prosperous life in my, in my opinion. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing is taking a cold shower. <laughs> now everyone's like, wait, what? <laughs> And that's exactly what I was thinking too. Um, you're going to be taking a cold shower every day. Well, I am. Not you guys. So, basically I did some research on it and it has a lot of health benefits from what I've been reading. Um, I've also talked to a couple different friends who do this every day. It's now become part of their lives. Uh, there's facts that it uh, calms anxiety. Um, it relaxes your muscles, you know, how you see all the pro athletes getting in the ice baths. Yeah, I thought that were crazy. I was like, what are you guys doing? You have all this money in the world and you're spending your days in a bucket full of ice. That just it, it, it doesn't look appetizing to me. Um, but I'm hopping on the crazy train and um, I'm going to go for it. You know, it, it said that it burns, you know, brown fat and moves all that sludge in your body. Um, it opens your pores, it reduces stress, it reduces your risk of depression. So there's just all this stuff that I really want to see if it works for me. Um, I'm totally one of those people who gets into a shower that's a thousand degrees on an 80 degree day. I know, it's disgusting. <laughs> but I get in there and I love it. I will take a, probably about a decade to get my whole body in a pool. <laughs> unless it's a hot tub <laughs> so this is really outside of my comfort zone but I'm really excited to see how it works um, so if any of you are interested in doing this challenge um, there's a couple different YouTube videos that I found helpful you can you know just type it in the search bar and um, there's a bunch of stuff on Google that I found um, regarding this challenge some a lot of people have you know different uh, the, a different five or six to-do list that they do, but this is just something that fits for me. Um, these are goals that I want to have, so if any of you have any, you know, goals of your own that you want to put into it, you know, really just kind of delve into yourself and see what you could really improve on. And I know it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard for me too, but we're all in this together. Um, you know, just remember, <laughs> If you skip a day, you got to start over. So that 60 days could become 71 or 84 or, you know, or you could just stop after day two. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to update you guys as I go along and we're going to see how I do. I'm really hoping that this is something that I go along with. You know, there's, there's just so many things that I, I, I want this to carry into with school and with, you know, my home life, um, especially with the cold shower. Like, who wants to get up and do that? And I'm not talking, like, sort of to the cold. I'm talking all the way to the sea, you know? I don't want to do it, and it, it sounds awful. And But, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping that this kind of changes my mindset towards things that I don't want to do or things that I procrastinate doing. Um, you know, homework is a big one. I will 
wait to do my homework until the last second and it's it's not been working out for me so hot so far so um, I'm just really hoping that this mindset carries into the semester into my home life you know I take care of three other people besides myself and there are every day there's just something that I just don't want to do so I'm I'm gonna see uh, like I said I'm gonna update you guys uh, halfway through the challenge and let you know how I've been doing. I hope whoever starts this challenge too, you know, drop it in the comments what your what your plans are, what you're hoping to get out of this. And um, like I said, we're all in this together. So uh, I hope you guys have a great Sunday and a great rest of your week. Um, I'll probably be posting a couple videos uh, throughout the week. So um, other than that, you guys have a blessed day. All right, bye.